did I not used to have? Didn't I make little turkeys to put on this tree? Didn't I have like seven googly-eyed turkeys last year to put on this tree? And there were fake leaves. I had fake leaf string lights on the cactus tree. Where did those go? Oh, I don't even know where those would be. Usually there's stuff in this closet. I have like a box of decorations for this closet. They weren't in there when I cleaned the box out. Where would I have put them? Cause that's like a once, you bring that out like once a year. You bring it out for the Thanksgiving, the November, the fall. Did I throw them away? Did they not survive? No, they were fine. I remember like stacking them. I guess I'll look for them. In the meantime, I think we have to make new fall November crafts, Thanksgiving crafts, um, cause it's coming up. The tree looks bare. I don't have time to be looking for the crafts when I could just be making new crafts. You know what I'm saying? That's how a crafter thinks. So let's do that. But first I have to get coffee. I have to get coffee. Not for me, but for Riley. Really, I have a headache. I need to drink a lot of water today, but co Riley needs coffee because my dad was doing some construction, making a lot of loud noises. Riley needs to get out of the house. He's scared. He's hiding under my bed. You know, so we need, we need to go get coffee for him. Okay, let's go do that. And there you go. Look at the. Now I am wearing a Dunky Junkie sweatshirt with a Starbucks cup, but I wanted hot coffee today. I was just in the mood. And um, I like Starbucks hot coffee better. This is just a white chocolate mocha with some caramel. Now the line is like nothing I've never seen before. The line was 14 cars deep. And usually the Starbucks runs out of stuff. So I was like, well, I'm not even, they're not even gonna have what I want on the menu. So then people were parking their cars and trying to go in and order their drinks. And when I peered around the corner, as I was picking up my coffee, I looked to see like what's going on inside. Big ass line also. So I get it. It's a cold day. Everyone's trying to get some coffee. And that tastes so good sitting in a spot. Oh, okay. The other thing. I don't know who wrote this card, but I picked up at the Dollar Tree the other day. I've never given anyone a Thanksgiving card, but I needed a big envelope. So I was like, let me just buy the card and I'll give it to someone as a joke. Look at read this card. Nothing says gratitude like a dead bird with bread up its butt. Hope your Thanksgiving is stuffed with happiness. Who wrote this. This is an amazing card. <laughs> Someone at Hallmark wrote this. That, but who actually? I want the person's first last name and I want to send them a thank you card. This is hilarious. Maybe I'll just put that on the tree. Maybe I won't give it to anybody. If the crafts don't work out, that's our decoration. There you go. The two crafts I wanted to do, I picked up this turkey from the dollar store. Plain little wooden turkey and I painted it as a base. Now it looks pretty good like this. And I did this in four minutes tops. I was like, bah, 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 did that. But I also got, did you guys ever used to do the thing with tissue paper? You would get tissue paper in little squares and then you take glue and a pencil and you'd wrap the tissue paper in the pencil and you'd like glue it down. And then it would be like a 3D design on the turkey. I'll put in a picture. Y'all ever do that? That like came to me like a dream and I was like, we def I've definitely done that project before and it was so much fun. So I'm gonna try and cover this. So that could go on there. Everyone does the crafts and they're like flat paper crafts. I saw people did a 3D turkey, you know, like the, you cut the construction paper into rings and you put them together like garland. Someone had done that, but they made like a 3D looped turkey thing. I think that was so cute and simple. And they did like neon colors. Oh, oh, I'm obsessed. We have a lot to do. Let's just get started. Here is a picture of the first one that I want to do, but I don't, it looks easy enough. I just don't know how long the strips of paper should be. So I'm going to cut out a test strip on this. Otherwise me and my mom have like a scrap bin of construction paper and like scrapbooking paper. So I'm just going to pull from that. I'm thinking like maybe I should try and measure and I'm just guessing. I'm just doing like a rough, very rough estimate. Nine inch by one inch thick. So just a bunch of those. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Should it be longer? It depends on how big the base of the turkey is. Like if the base of the turkey is like as big as my fist, they'll barely stick out. Maybe I'll make them hella long. I'll make a big ass turkey. I'll make them as long as a sheet of paper. We'll do 11 inches by, now if it was a half, this is an inch thick. If this was half, like this is how big they are. Do I want it to have a lot of feathers or a couple feathers? Let's do 11 by one inch thick. I can always cut them in half and I have double. We can really stuff this bird. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's time how long it takes me to do the craft. Let's time myself how long we're spending crafting. All right, we are clocked in for our craft. I'm gonna throw in a podcast. I'm just gonna cut a bunch of strips. What should I do? Just red, orange, yellow, green? Red, orange, yellow, green. I don't wanna do a blue. I don't wanna do blue. Red, orange, yellow, green. Is there a fighter jet going by? You hear that? It's like There's a lot going on around here.
have my hard drive sitting <laughs> to weigh it down. And I made a little, what's the nose? What, is it called a gullet? A gillet? No. What's the little floppy thing on a turkey called? What is the wobbly red piece of flesh on top of a beak of a turkey? Oh, the beak. It's called a snood. Is that correct? Snood. Both genders have one. Male and female turkeys have one. People make crafts. They don't make them this big. Look how big that snoot is on that turkey. Holy shit. Both genders can extend and retract their snoot to suit their mood or males will use to attract mates. You learn something new every day. These pieces are like weighing it down. and supposed to be like holding it up when it's on a flat surface, but I don't know if it's because there's just so much glue on the back and these pieces are so long. I should have made these shorter. So there's not so much weight in the back. That looks kind of cool. But um, whenever I put it down, it like holds itself up, but it's really heavy. Oh, it's actually staying. It is really heavy. I don't know if this brown piece of construction paper, like if you're gonna do this, needs to be thicker and heavier to give it some weight but there's that. I, I plan on putting this on the cactus tree, so I don't need it to sit nicely anywhere, but look at that. Okay. I just gotta put some eyes on it. Where's the thing? I don't know if this is too small. No, it's probably a good size. I also have a whole bag of googly eyes. We could do really small. We could do colored. We could do massive eyes, <laughs> like falling off the turkey eyes. These have eyelashes. If you ever have googly eyes for too long, they get yellow, like around the room. I don't like that. Too yellow, like I'm over it, turkey. No, I don't, I want them to be like awake. Okay, oh, put them there. Should I do one like slightly higher than the other one? Oh, oh, glue on the shirt. Stuck in the middle. It just needs to dry because you can tell the paper's gonna see through. Oh, that's cute. Stay, sir. Hold yourself up. Cute. <laughs> Is this eye falling down? Oh no, this eye is falling. I have a couple leftover pieces. I might make a second one, like a goofy, a goofy looking second turkey. That whole project took me 0.77 of an hour. It took me 45 minutes to do. That took me 45 minutes. Oh, I was thinking 20 tops. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I mean, I did let it dry for like a hot minute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna make the second one and maybe 10 minutes tops. That one might, look, that, that one might look, look, look a little sloppy. Here's the other one I made. This one looks like a drunk little turkey coming on home. I used the red googly eyes. Oh no, I'm getting good at making these. I already figured out what it's called. A gillet? Giblet? Something? I'm uh, getting good at making those. Look at the back. Look at all those staples. <laughs> this bag of googly eyes is called wiggly eyes. Googly eyes must be a trademark thing. Boing. Also, this girl is wearing a googly eyed headband. I might make one of those. <laughs> For the other craft, I got this big thing of tissue paper. I think there's 200 sheets in there. Oh, 100 sheets. I think it was 10 bucks. So 10 cents a sheet, 10 cents? 10 cents a sheet. Sounds about right. Oh, it smells kind of weird. What does that smell? Here's the red and the yellow. I'm just gonna cut this into little squares, probably like half the size of this, maybe a quarter a size of this, and get started on the, the turkey, the turkey board. <laughs> this one's taking way longer than it should have to, than I thought. I only did the red and the yellow. <gasps> So I have to do the orange and the green, which you can barely see. So I might just do like really thin layers of green and orange. Looks kind of cool though. I'm not going to cover this part. That would take forever. Let's slap a googly eye on. Call it a day. I am excited. I'm so hungry right now. I just have been working through lunch. It's almost 2 p.m. And I don't think I had breakfast or lunch. <laughs> I'm excited for Thanksgiving though. Like making these turkey things is making me hungry. I'm excited to eat food that I never get all year round. Some turkey, some white meat on the turkey, some whipped up mashed potatoes, some biscuits, some rolls, some mac and cheese with the crumbly crust on top. My mouth is watering. Ooh, some fresh green beans. Ooh, sweet potatoes with the little marshmallows. I don't know, what do you guys eat for Thanksgiving? Put it down below if you celebrate Thanksgiving or if you like have a nice meal on Thanksgiving. Let me know uh, what you're thankful for and what you like. what's your favorite thing to eat. And I love a good pumpkin pie. <gasps> don't get me wrong. Love a good pumpkin pie. What am I thankful for? Typical ones is family, friends, Riley, pets. I'm thankful that this is my job, let alone like I have a creative, one, a creative outlet to post things and two, that like people appreciate or acknowledge or even like the creative things that I put out. That's really fun. Either the crafts or comedy or whatever it is. It's great. And also I was looking back like at old YouTube videos and just thinking like, even if no one was watching these, 
or if like this wasn't like part of my job, just like making these videos is like a little time capsule of like things I've been doing, how I've looked, projects I've worked on, like the video I just did with Lindsay and Marissa. That's like such a great memory for us to have as friends and it's like, it'll, you know, live forever. It's almost like making like a continuous scrapbook of what I do. So I'm just really thankful that that is something I get to enjoy. I'm grateful for that. Also, I've just been like lobbing on this glue. I watched a video of someone doing this and they used hot, like a hot glue gun and they were just touching it to the front of the hot glue gun. I'd probably work a lot faster because it would dry faster. Sometimes the pencil's getting stuck. Also, I found a, I found like six other crafts you can do with tissue paper. One was like a pop-up card. One was like a bow. One was this. I mean, if you need a new crafting medium, try tissue paper. I went to a wedding and got back at like 1.30 in the morning. And then the next night my friends were like, we're gonna go to a brewery. Like, come hang out. And I was like, I don't think. I was like, I'm in my pajamas. Like, I am two feet away from my bed, about to fall asleep. But then I was like, oh, it was my friend Steven's birthday the other day. And I had bought him the, he likes those birthday cake Oreos. I'm not a fan of them, but birthday cake Oreos. So I had gotten him a, 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 a box, a, a package of those. So I wanted to give them to him because I don't see him too often. So I was like, oh, I'll make an appearance. And then I ended up staying, having a beer. I had like a peanut butter beer. Very good. Oh, my pen, ew, and the pencil just stuck to that, to my glue station. Oh, for the love. Okay, gross, gross, gross. Let's finish this up. Okay, I got distracted. Was that light not on before? It definitely wasn't. Okay, looks like, oh, it's like protruding from my head. I got distracted by making myself a sandwich and I was reheating my coffee, but it's done. Put a little blue googly eye, blue googly eye on it. It looks pretty good. I don't know where those other turkeys went. I'm really trying to think. The great November mystery. If anybody has any idea, you guys know how my brain works. Where would I put them? I probably won't find them until April. <laughs> also, this only took one sheet of each color. One sheet of each color of the tissue paper, like the big sheet. Tissue paper only really comes in like one standard size. And then of course I had more leftover green because there's only two spots for green. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how am I going to attach these two to the cactus tree? That's a whole nother, that's like beyond the craft. <laughs> you know, an afterthought, if you will. This one has a hole in the back. Ah! 